between a rock and a hard place. At 18, Duane won a full scholarship from the University of Miami to play defensive tackle. He now had the motivation and belief that, one day, he could make the NFL. But injuries kept Duane back, sparking deeper bouts of depression. In his freshman year, his average grade was 0.7 and he dropped out, sinking into despair while he recovered from his injuries. Eventually, his coach called and pushed him to restore his standing at school. Dwayne Johnson graduated, then moved to Canada to pursue his dream of joining the NFL. In 1995, he was signed by the Canadian Football League's Calgary Stampeders. Things were on track for Dwayne to reach his dream. But it wasn't a pretty sight. Dwayne was borderline broke, sharing a two-bedroom apartment with three other players. They all survived on ramen noodles and spaghetti. To make matters worse, Dwayne slept on an unthinkably stained mattress he found ditched outside a sex motel. But if it got him to the NFL, it would all be worth it. But it wasn't worth it. Two months into the season, Dwayne was cut from the team. He felt lost, alone, and as if nothing was worth doing anymore. He had never felt this drained before. With his dreams destroyed and a mere $7 in his pocket, he could think of nothing else but to join his father in Tampa. Here they'd both share a tiny apartment, where Duane would hide out and succumb to his depression. I wished I had someone, anyone, who could pull me aside and say it's gonna be okay.